He wanted to see me. Oh, yeah. What the hell is this? It's an invitation to a bacchanalia. It's a cassidine tradition for engagements. Bacchanalia? Engagements? And a tradition, okay. Have you ever been to one? No. I was in school when Stavros got married, but I certainly have heard enough about it to know about it. It's a formal ball. The women wear gowns, men wear white ties, everyone carries a mask, and there's a guest list of hundreds. Well, that's fantastic. That's a perfect setup, isn't it? That's the night to put Helena out of our misery. If she's invited. And tradition dictates that she should be. Attendance is mandatory. All family members are expected. Internal conflicts notwithstanding. However, if Stefan were to fly in the face of tradition, Cassidine tradition, this would be the time. Why? What have you heard? Nothing yet, but I'm working on it. Well, maybe I can provide you with a little inspiration. Come with me. Stand here. Right there. If this isn't reason to kill Helena, I don't know what is. Oh, my word. That's her in her Matahari face. Half the Turkish army remember her like this. Cover her. Ah, uh, now come with me for another little surprise. Stay here. Keep your eyes and your ears open and your mouth shut. Why? Don't Just stay here. I'm gonna make your day. I received your message. Whatever you have of mine, I want it back immediately. I have no intention of doing a verbal foxtrot with you this evening, Luke. Whatever you've stolen off my yacht, I want it back at once. Take a look at this. That new daughter-in-law of yours is quite a box of hair. You must be thrilled. Well, the match is absurd. But Stefan stopped asking my advice about his love life long ago. Oh, well, that's what happened. He left you out of the love loop. I take it you approve of Miss Bell? I certainly do not. So I take it uh, they'll have to tie themselves in knots without the mother of the groom present. <laughs> oh, au contraire, my friend. I wouldn't miss it. Oh, that sounds like a delightful surprise. I'd hate to miss it myself. Will you uh, go as the dragon lady, or will you wear a mask? Hey, hey, Roxy, you're back. Tell your little friend, Mikey, to drop it. Before I drop him. She means it, Mikey. Oh, you're making a big mistake, Roxy. You and me, woof, pure magic. Gentlemen, uh... Excuse us. Uh, grab a stool. Order whatever you like. It's uh, on the house. If you insisted on my coming over here this evening so that you could flaunt this invitation in my face, you have seriously wasted your time and mine. Oh, my dear. But there's more. and my body was unmarked. You mean somebody doctored this photo to make it look like you've been beaten bloody? Now, what kind of a sick swine would do something like that? I was making a point with your son. Those photos of Laura were not meant to be taken literally. This is very different, Elena. This photo could be prophetic. Take it literally. Is this going somewhere, or are you just being tedious as usual? Tedious, audacious, and rude beyond all known philosophies. Hit it! Behold the glory that was wrong! There's 
something so familiar about that face. Well, that's what I get for looking at her face. <laughs> <laughs> that painting was in my attic in my house in Greece. I don't know how you stole it, but I demand you get it back there immediately. I didn't steal it, Helena. It was a gift from your dear son. Stefan. Yes, the stiff one betrothed to Blondie, the dim bulb. You will not get away with this. Well, isn't this a stroke of good luck? I come here to see my brother Luke and run straight into my ex-mother-in-law. <laughs>